I'm putting this up there because Americans, for some reason, have short-term memory. Now they'll remember what a what happened on a football field or a baseball field or a basketball field or a golf course. They'll remember stupid shit like that that's totally meaningless. But stuff like this, they totally forget. It doesn't set in their mind because they're not concerned with it. And they should be. It's their country. Their country should come first. Hillary Clinton, gun control, a political necessity. There's the old sweetheart. Now, I'm going to zoom this in because I want you to see. The 18th of June, 2018, by A.W.R. Hawkins. While speaking to a group of activists in San Francisco, Hillary Clinton stressed that gun control is a political necessity and part of taking back the country. Clinton ran gun control as a candidate in the 2016 election and lost. President Trump ran as pro-gun, and now Clinton is criticizing him for standing with the gun rights organization. Well, you know, see, that's the thing, Hillary. It's the Constitution, and that's something that you never read, you never understood, nor did you care about because you're a damn communist. Despite losing the election, Clinton claimed that the vast majority of Americans support gun control position. We are winning this debate. But now we've got to get everybody to vote on the same issue. Clinton pointed to the gun shootings as a justification for more gun control. She talked in the February 14, 2018, Parkland shooting which a gunman shot and killed 17. She also mentioned the April 20th, 1999 Combine High School attack in which 13 were killed. She did not mention that the Parkland attacker passed a background check to acquire this rifle, nor did she point out that the Combine attack happened at a time when the Democrats' prized gun control, the assault weapon ban, was in effect. She was also mumbling the fact that the Parkland and Combine were both gun-free zones. And she didn't, she didn't bring out anything about the Combine, that they taught death education there. And both of these kids were on drugs of some kind, prescribed by a doctor. This is the kind of stuff you can't forget, guys. Remember this little sweetheart. No, wait a minute. There's one more thing I got to, I got to show you. Not that stuff there. Let's get down here. It's very important. I'm going to zoom this in so you can see this too. Disarm the people and then you owe them. Disarm the people and then you own them. First thing you do, you give up to become a libertar is your mind. The second thing you give up is your right to bear arms. The third and final offering is your soul. Gun control is a political necessity and part of taking back the country. That line should scare the bejesus out of every red-blooded American. Disarm the people, and then you own them. This is exactly the Democrat strategy. These people are evil to their very core of being. You gotta disarm people, and you got to help us victims out. Now, here, here, here's something. Does this makes sense. This really makes sense here. I hope you can see this. The party of hate, Democrats, point and shrook whenever a murderous nut job takes advantage of a gun-free, disarm, and helpless victim zone. Problem is, the same Democrats fight banning this gun-free zone because they need a constant supply of atrocities. Yep. Okay, guys, that's enough for now. Just wanted you to see this. I want this to stick in your mind. I don't want you to forget.
kind of like they used to say, remember the Alamo? Well, you better remember Hillary Clinton, and you better remember every damn communist son of a bitch that's out there. Now, I don't care if they're Republican, you know, Rhino, or Republican in name only. Remember these people. They are enemies of the state. Thanks for watching.